Hi, I'm John Parsons with the Hawk Technical Training Center. Purchasing the TU5 turbidimeter gives you the ability to experience the next standard in the evolution of turbidity, but this is just the first step in improving turbidity measurements in your plant. Laboratory and online turbidimeters with identical measurement systems can be purchased to ensure matching results. Additional accessories and features can be added onto the turbidimeters to reduce the number of maintenance and service surprises and give you everything about your turbidity measurements faster. This video will cover the importance of purchasing a TU5200 laboratory turbidimeter along with your process TU5300 or TU5400 process instruments. RFID capability, automatic cleaning modules, flow sensors, system checks, prognosis, and also service options that we offer. The strength of the TU5 series comes from identical 360 by 90 degree detection technology in the analytical units of both laboratory and process instruments. In order to achieve maximum benefit of the TU5 series platform, at least one TU5200 should be purchased for a plant that plans to purchase an online TU5300 or TU5400 SC turbidimeter. You can have increased confidence that reported turbidity values are correct by purchasing a system of process instruments and laboratory instruments together. In order to maximize your plant's ability to use the matching feature of the TU5 instruments, it is recommended that you include RFID technology with instruments at the time of purchase. Comparison of laboratory and online values is extremely quick and easy using RFID equipped sample bottles. Calibration can be fast too with optional RFID equipped stable cal standards. Because this feature is built into the instrument, make sure to include the feature at the time of purchase. It cannot be included into your turbidimeter afterwards. Facilities who have used the 1720E and FilterTrack 660 can spend over 10 minutes per instrument cleaning and getting it ready to be put back into service. The TU5's automatic cleaning module takes the quick cleaning process of an individual sample cell wiper and automates it. Turbidity becomes faster when operators can have confidence that their turbidity measurements come from a measurement system that's always clean. UltraTurb users who have wipers on their instruments will be able to continue to save time with the cleaning process that's improved over their current automatic wiper feature. The wiper has the ability to be able to be programmed to wipe at prescribed intervals. Replacement of the TU5300 or TU5400 wiper blade is made faster by an on-screen guided replacement menu and has fewer replacement steps. This accessory can be paired with the instrument at the time of purchase or can be added onto the instrument at a later date. If your plant decides to purchase an automatic cleaning module, installation is easy. Be sure to follow the instructions in the instrument manual or watch the installation video in order to properly mount your TU5 process series turbidimeter into its final place. Realize if the automatic cleaning module was purchased along with the TU5300 or TU5400 process instrument, the instrument will not come with the standard process measuring head. Before starting installation, be sure to turn off power to the SC controller in use. Let's look at what's included with the automatic cleaning module. The automatic cleaning module was packaged and shipped with the protective styrofoam support on the bottom end. Inside here, Inside here, the flow cell is protected by the vial removal tool.
The accessory also ships with an instrument manual, a replacement wiper for the device, and also a service rack. Your TU-5400 process turbidimeter includes a service rack, but the TU-5300 does not. So when you purchase an automatic cleaning module, you will get the service bracket. To install the automatic cleaning module with a brand new installation, first be sure that your TU-5 series process instrument has been mounted level. Remove the protective cap from the device, and now we'll prepare the automatic cleaning module. Start by removing the protective styrofoam. Make sure that the cell is nice and tight with the vial removal tool. Remove the tool, and that can be stored in the service bracket. And it's easy to align the module with the base of the instrument if you first find the arrow on the automatic cleaning module. That'll line up with the arrow up top. Simply line those up, the instrument will seat in place, and then to lock it into place, just grab the automatic cleaning module and rotate it slightly clockwise. The device connects to the TU-5400 for communication and power through this one cable, so remove the protective cover. Route the cable down through a provided channel in the back of the process instrument and there is a port in which we will make the connection. There is a plug to protect the electronics in case one is not used, but simply remove the plug and mount the cable or seat the cable up to the instrument. Once it locks into place, we just simply turn the screw to lock it in place. And that's it. If you're installing a automatic cleaning module to an instrument that already exists, that's already been used, the installation is just a little bit different. Start by turning off water flow to your process turbidimeter and be sure to turn off power to your controller. The inlet and the drain lines can be disconnected using the quick connections, just simply pushing in, in on the collar and removing the tubing. You can rotate the process measuring head and pull it up out of the instrument and set that aside. The automatic cleaning module can be prepared for installation by simply removing the styrofoam cover. Uh, what came with it is the vial removal tool, so that is shipped to further protect the flow cell. So with the vial removal tool, you can just make sure that the cell is nice and tight there can remove the tool and then be sure that the optical surface of the cell, uh, the measuring vial is nice and clean. The full 360 degree measuring surface on the outside of the cell is nice and clean in addition to the op optical surface on the bottom in which the light is directed. So we'll make sure that's nice and clean. To align the instrument for proper insertion the inlet and the drain line are placed to the right side and it's easier just to find the arrow. The arrow right here on the automatic cleaning module and the arrow on side the top of the turf. So we take our automatic cleaning module, we carefully put the cell into there, we align the arrow with the unlocked and then to lock it into place we just simply rotate it clockwise as with any of the measuring heads, just like that. The device communicates with the process turb via this cable. It also receives power through this cable, so we'll remove the protective cover and we'll route the cable through the supplied channel on the back of the process TU-5 series instrument. There is a protective plug on the SC connector port that we can remove. And all we have to do is just rotate this until the little key locks into place and then we'll just rotate the collar to seat it and secure it. So we find the hole, we rotate until it mates up, and then just turn the collar a few turns to secure it. Just like so. If you're installing your new automatic cleaning module with an optional flow sensor, 
Details on installing that as well will be provided later in this video. To plumb the automatic cleaning module, be sure to use quarter inch OD tubing. The tubing should be made out of polyurethane, polyethylene, or polyamide. Route the inlet tubing through the tubing clips provided on the installation bracket and install those into the inlet on the bottom side of the automatic cleaning module. The drain tubing can be routed through the tubing clips as well and that can be connected to the port on the top of the automatic cleaning module. Be sure to provide a little bit of extra tubing here that will allow the cleaning module to be easily removed from the turb, moved to the service bracket for the purpose of maintenance items. So you always want a little bit of extra tubing to easily allow the cleaning module to be placed over to here for service activities. And then it can be placed back into the turb after the maintenance activities are complete. After installing the automatic cleaning module, it's quite easy to configure it using the SC controller that it's connected to. Start by supplying power to your controller and you can turn on flow of sample to the actual measuring instrument. In this particular example, we'll be using an SC1000 controller to configure our automatic cleaning module. So we press the bottom centimeter of the screen, press the main menu key, and then choose sensor setup. Choose the appropriate sensor. In this particular example, we're using the TU5400SC turbinimeter. So we highlight it and then press the plus sign. We'll need to get into the configure menu. And in the configure menu towards the bottom is an easy place where we can tell the device that we have a cleaning module in place and turn it on. It's also where we can tell the system that a flow sensor is in place and operational. Let's just start with the cleaning module. So in the cleaning module, the first thing we need to do is turn it on, verify with the check mark. That turns it on, but the configuration is above in the cleaning menu. Notice that the cleaning menu has a plus sign by it. That gives us an idea or a hint that there's a bunch of different choices inside there. So we go to cleaning, we press the plus mark, and now we have the six different options, or the six different uh, settings that we can use to get the automatic cleaning module to do what we want it to do. First of all, let's start with the second one, wiper reminder. The default position is on, but all this does is notify the user when it's time to replace the wiper blade itself. Activation of the wiper mechanism can be controlled in two different fashions, or in, in one of two different fashions. First of all, the cleaning interval. Simply put, this is a time in either hours or days that the user can decide to initiate an automatic cleaning module. So default is 12 hours, but we can go anywhere from one hour to seven days. So we'll leave it at 12 hours. In addition to the cleaning interval, we can also set a turbidity value or a turbidity level that will activate an automatic cleaning cycle. So in this case, the default is off, but we turn the cleaning level to on, it adds an additional menu item. So now we have a threshold, and this threshold can be configured to a turbidity that's appropriate for the application. In this case, we'll use a turbidity value of 0 0.1 NTU. So if the turbidity value exceeds 0.1 NTU, the instrument will automatically go into a cleaning cycle and the outputs will be held during that cycle. Obviously, if you have a true event and your turbidity exceeds 0.1 NTU, cleaning is not going to fix that, but it does give us a great way of initiating a clean based upon a turbidity value that could be caused from debris and, and uh, fouling of the cell. Cleaning intensity can be set between 1 and 3. So we start with our default value of 1, but it can be changed to 2 and 3 to increase the vigorousness or the, uh, uh, the intensity of the cleaning, but we'll leave that at 1. 
And then finally, the output delay. The output delay is in seconds. Default is 30. And this is the time in seconds following a cleaning cycle that the communication outputs, 4 to 20s, and digital communications such as Modbus and Profibus will be held for an additional 30 seconds following the cleaning cycle to make sure any debris and any materials are swept out of the cell. So that can be adjusted as necessary. And that's it. We can configure all of the steps within the automatic cleaning module very simply using the cleaning menu inside the configure of the sensor. To go back to our regular screen, we just simply press the home key and we're back in business. When it comes time for maintenance of the automatic cleaning module, there's two simple tasks that need to be performed. Replacement of the sample vial, the flow cell inside the automatic cleaning module, and replacement of the wiper blade uh, on the end of the cleaning unit. Both of these processes are relatively simple and are easy to follow using the simple menu, uh, the menu guided instructions inside the, the controller. It's nice to have a bucket to catch a little bit of the excess water that's inside the cell here, but the process is very simple. Let's start by demonstrating a vial replacement. We simply start by pressing the bottom of the SC1000 controller, accessing the sensor in need, choosing that particular sensor, and then entering the diagnostics and test menu. Within the maintenance option, we have these two functions, vial replacement and wiper replacement. Let's start with vial replacement. We're instructed to switch off influent flow and remove the process head. So we simply shut off flow to the instrument and remove the process head. So we turn it counterclockwise just a little bit to unlock it and we can remove it up out of this and place it into the service rack and lock it into place so it's nice and secure. We continue by pressing the enter key. We're instructed to remove the vial with the vial removal tool. So we take our tool here, seat it onto the outside of the vial and just unscrew this to remove the old vial. We can catch the excess water easily. There's not much, but we can just catch it with a bucket and we can remove the old vial. Set that aside. The vial can be removed here. And we can make sure inside that we still have the O-ring and that stays seated. Sometimes it comes out with the vial. In this case, it stayed seated, which is perfectly fine. So we'll open up the container to grab the new vial, being sure not to touch the outside of this vial here, if possible, without or with our fingers. So we'll take this vial, place it into the container like this, and using the removal tool, we can use this to screw it into place right on side the system. So just like that, we make it nice and snug. And then just to be sure, we can take an AccuWipe, a very clean cloth, and we can polish, make sure the outside that full 360 degree measuring perimeter is nice and clean in addition to the bottom surface through which the light is directed. So we've got that nice and clean. Unscrew vial, press enter. Dry out vial compartment. So you can just inspect the vial compartment here, make sure that there's no moisture, no water or moisture that's inside that. We press enter. With removal tool, reattach vial, press enter. We've already demonstrated how to do that. We press enter. Attach process head. So we unlock here. We go back onto the top of the TU-5400. Lock it back into place. Press enter. Switch on influent flow. So we get water started back to uh, the instrument. And that's it. That completes the simple process of replacing the vial using the automatic cleaning module. I'll now demonstrate the simple process of replacing the wiper on the automatic cleaning module. We're already down to the maintenance menu and we simply just choose wiper replacement and follow the steps 
listed on screen. So we're instructed to switch off influent flow and remove the process head. So we shut off the sample flow, we unlock the process head and place it onto the surface rack and rotate it clockwise to secure it in place. Press enter and we're instructed with the removal tool to unscrew the vial and press enter. Again, a bucket is nice to have just to catch the small amount of water that comes out of the cleaning module when this is removed. So the O-ring in this particular case is still right inside the instrument so we can set the module or the cleaning the vial removal tool there and press enter. And now in order to initiate the mechanism to uh, extend the wiper mechanism to be replaced we simply press the enter key. You'll hear a little bit of a noise of the motor and the shaft will slowly extend the wiper mechanism beyond the surface here so that we can easily replace it. Once the wiper profile is fully extended, we're instructed to replace the wiper profile. So, to do so, we just simply push up on a locking collar, it'll pop out of place, and we rotate the existing wiper to the right clockwise, or actually that's counterclockwise, and we can remove the old wiper. So we'll set that aside, grab the new wiper out of the little baggie, and we put it in opposite of the way we removed the first. So we line up the bar with that, we rotate it left so that it seats in place, and then to hold it securely, we grab the outer collar and pull down to snap it into place. That's as easy it is to replace the wiper mechanism. So now we'll press the enter key. And the motor mechanism will withdraw the cleaning shaft and the wiper back up inside the body of the automatic cleaning module. We're instructed with the removal tool to reattach the vial. Take the vial here, ensure that the O-ring is still seated inside, which it is. We can reattach the vial itself. Quickly make sure that our perimeter is nice and clean. Press Enter key. So we're instructed to replace the measuring head back onto the turb. We do so, press Enter. Switch on influent flow, so we get the water flowing back again. Press the enter key, and that's it. That's the simple process of replacing a wiper on the automatic cleaning module. The TU5's flow sensor provides immediate information on flow rate of sample through the turbidimeter. Operators can be alerted to changes in sample flow as soon as they happen, allowing for faster detection of problems within a process. Due to its importance, a flow meter is recommended to be paired with the instrument at the time of purchase. However, a flow meter can be easily added to the turbinimeter after the fact. The flow meter box includes a number of items. First of all, it includes the flow meter itself with an accessory cable that we can connect up to either the turbinimeter or an automatic cleaning module. It includes a short length of quarter inch OD tubing and it also includes the necessary hardware, two screws, in order to mount the flow meter to the bracket. Installing the flow sensor is easy whether or not you're adding it to a system with an automatic cleaning module or not. Start the process. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver and the two included screws. And we simply start by mounting the flow meter to the mounting bracket. Be sure to orientate the flow meter properly. There is an arrow on the right side of the flow sensor that denotes the upward flow of water. We're actually going to install it on the inlet line to the turbidimeter. So we'll take one of the two screws, start it through the hole there, and we'll mount it to the two pre-drilled holes on the mounting bracket. So we've 
got that one started, we'll take the second screw and place that into the second one. Tighten that one up, tighten the first one up, and that's it. So we have the flow meter connected. The cable for the flow meter will connect into one of two different places depending upon whether you have an automatic cleaning module. If you don't have an automatic cleaning module, the flow meter cable will connect to the accessory port on the bottom of the TU-53 or 5400. Since we have an automatic cleaning module, the automatic cleaning module will connect to the accessories port, like so. And then, on the back side of the automatic cleaning module is a secondary port for the flow meter. So we'll connect the flow meter to that particular port. Like so. To plumb the flow meter, we'll start with the short length tubing to connect from our water source and we'll plumb this into the inlet of the flow meter. And using the quick connects, we'll just simply push in to lock that into place. The tubing included with the flow meter is just the right length to go from the outlet of the flow meter into the inlet of the automatic cleaning module. So we'll push it into place here to lock that. And then we'll route this to our inlet on the automatic cleaning module. Lock that into place. So now we have water coming through the system like this. All we need to do is take care of a drain line, which I already have pre-cut. So we'll route this through the clips on the side of the mounting bracket. And now this will go to our outlet port here on the top of the automatic cleaning module. So rotate that, rotate that just a little bit. And now we've got it. Water coming in through the flow sensor into the bottom of the automatic cleaning module and then out from the automatic cleaning module through a flow controller down to drain. For samples with flow between 100 and 200 milliliters per minute, which is at the lower end of the recommended flow range, install the flow sensor at a 45 degree angle. This orientation discourages the formation of bubbles inside the flow sensor. Once the flow meter is installed and plumbed, there's just a couple of steps to finish configuration of the flow meter in conjunction with the process TU5 instrument. First of all, we'll turn on the influent flow, and we can control the flow rate with this, uh, this needle valve here on the exit line or on the drain line from the TU5. You may also be able to see the motion of the impeller inside the flow meter which actually measures the flow. So when there's no flow it won't be spinning. When it is, when there is flow it'll be spinning as well. So we'll do the rest of the configuration using the SC1000 controller. We'll start with the main menu, choose sensor setup, choose the sensor desired, and then we get into the configure menu down towards the bottom. Towards the bottom of this menu is a simple choice of flow sensor off or flow sensor on. So we'll simply switch it to on because it's now installed and in place. And that's all you have to do in terms of configuring the actual sensor. To have a displayed value, it's a little bit one extra step with the SC1000. Since this TU5400 was running with the SC1000 before we installed the flow meter, if we increase the number of devices displayed to four, we only get turbidity, the relative standard deviation of the measurement, and nothing else is displayed yet. We can make that simple addition by going over to the far right and the, uh, this, the second choice from the right. If we go there, we have the two items that are set to be displayed on the actual SC1000. To change this, we simply press the tools, 
And now from the device list, we can choose any of the potential measurements or pieces of information and add them to the display. In this case, from the 5400 with serial number 1574184, we'll choose the flow and then we will add it to the display by pressing the down arrow key. Notice the flow is now the top choice on the display. It might be nice to navigate that or rearrange that to the bottom, so we'll move it downward. And now we have turbidity, relative standard deviation, and flow rate. We like it as it is, we press the check mark. We can leave it in this line by line display, or it might be nice to go back to the quadrants. And now we have our turbidity, our RSD, and our flow meter actively monitoring the flow of the process. If we want to increase or decrease the actual flow, we can do so with this knob. And that completes the easy installation and configuration of the optional flow meter to be used with the TU5300 or TU5400 process turbidity meter. The TU5 series turbidimeters can be equipped with an optional internal system check feature. This feature leverages the groundbreaking 360 degrees by 90 degree detection system to automatically check the cleanliness and quality of the measurement vial. The TU5's system check feature also alerts you if the vial is missing or a measurement is compromised if condensation is present. By periodically checking the vial condition, the instrument can give you confidence that if a change in turbidity reading occurs, that indicates a change in your water quality. Inclusion of the system check feature is mandatory for instruments that will be paired with Prognosis Predictive Diagnostics. Prognosis takes basic data from the system check and pairs it with other internal parameters to ensure that your measurement is always reliable. Because this feature is built into the instrument, it must be included at the time of purchase and cannot be added at a later date. To set up the system check feature, we just simply access the main menu, select the sensor that is equipped with the system check feature, access the configure menu, and at the bottom of the configure menu is the auto check. So this is where we can change two different settings. First of all, the check interval can be configured from off all the way to as infrequent as once a day, but the default is two hours. And then finally, there's two different settings for the sensitivity, high and low. Default is high, so it will notify it. It will have the, the highest sensitivity requirements in the system check. And that's it. Turbidity measurement with the TU5 series turbidimeter evolves even further when it's paired with Prognosis, the predictive diagnostics software. Prognosis monitors the TU5 series online instrument, proactively alerting users to maintenance needs before a turbidity measurement becomes questionable. The software actively monitors multiple signals and uses specific calculation algorithms to determine the overall instrument health and service requirements of the TU5. For example, Prognosis continuously verifies 14 different internal parameters to ensure that the internal vial is condensation free, void of cracks or scratches, and it's clean. Prognosis decreases the chance of surprise maintenance issues or measurement problems ensuring continuous uptime for turbidimeters. Information on how to set up prognosis for your TU5 series turbidity meter is included in the video that demonstrates how to set up the instrument with an SC1000 controller. Finally, Hawk offers a wide range of service agreements that can be tailored to your specific needs to help maximize measurement reliability and instrument uptime. Different service contracts are available, from initial startup contracts to all-encompassing comfort contracts that cover any and all service visits and repairs. Contact your local service team for the most accurate, 
up-to-date service offerings for the TU-5 series instruments. Adding additional options and accessories shown in this video help to make turbidity faster and reduce the chances of surprises for your TU-5 series instrumentation. Thank you for watching.